What is vertex subtraction in graph theory, also sometimes just called vertex deletion? Basically, if we have a graph G and we subtract a vertex V, what does that result in? That's what we'll be going over in today's Wrath of Math lesson, and it's not too complicated, so I'll try to make it quick. Here we have a beautiful graph G. What would we get if we subtracted a vertex from this graph? Suppose we subtracted the vertex C. What do you think should be the result when we subtract this vertex? Take a minute to think about it, and I bet there's a good chance you'll get the right answer. Hopefully you've thought about it for just a minute. Now let me show you what the result is. When we subtract or delete a vertex from a graph, what we have to do is first remove the vertex. So remove that vertex C from this graph. But there also might be edges that were joining that vertex to other vertices. Since the vertex is no longer in the graph, we have to also delete the edges that were incident to the vertex we deleted. So in this case, all of these edges were incident to the vertex C. Since we deleted C, we can no longer have these edges in our graph, so they have to go too. And then that's it. This is the graph G minus the vertex C. Again, all we did was delete that vertex C, and then we also have to delete the incident edges. So hopefully that seems fairly simple and intuitive. Here's something else you might notice. How many components are in this original graph G? There's just one component, this component here. How many components are in the graph G minus C? Well, in this graph, there are two components. So, since deleting C from the graph G resulted in a graph with more components than the original graph had, we could say that C is a cut vertex. So that's just some fun terminology for you. If deleting a vertex results in a graph that has more components than the original graph, then that vertex is called a cut vertex. With that said, let's just check out one more example. Here is a graph called H. You might notice this is a complete graph on five vertices. What graph would we be left with if we deleted the vertex V3 from the graph H? Well, again, first we have to delete the vertex in question, so we'll get rid of this vertex V3. But again, we can no longer have these edges in the graph because they were incident to a vertex that we no longer have. So we also have to delete all of those edges that were incident to the vertex V3. So when we subtract a vertex, we first have to delete that vertex, and then we delete the incident edges. In this case, what we're left with is a complete graph on four vertices, which is pretty cool. If you continued to play around with complete graphs, you would notice that any time you delete a vertex from a complete graph, the resulting graph is also a complete graph. And that's a pretty easy statement to prove, so if you want to get your feet wet with some graph theory proofs, you could try proving that. You might also notice here that when we subtracted the vertex V3 from H, we still have the same number of components. So V3 is not a cut vertex. And then before we go, I'll just give you a nicely written out definition of this vertex subtraction or vertex deletion. If G is a graph with vertex set V and edge set E, and V is an element of the vertex set, then G minus the vertex V has this vertex set and this edge set. This here just means to take the original vertex set and get rid of that deleted vertex. And then this just means that the edge set will have all of the edges from the original graph except for the ones that were incident to the deleted vertex. So we're not including any of the edges that had V as an endpoint. So hopefully that all makes sense. When we subtract a vertex from a graph, all we have to do is firstly delete that vertex and then get rid of all of the edges that are incident to that vertex. With that said, I hope this video helped you understand what vertex subtraction is in graph theory. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Link to his music in the description. I'm not me.